Welcome to Puffy Ferrets. This is Tara and I'm Julie and we're here today to show you how to make your own super cute, easy, simple paper butterfly wing. to involve hot glue. The important thing to remember here on your harness is what is the front. The front is shorter than the back so this is going to be facing this way. I'm going to glue them. I'm going to do the bigger wing and then right behind it you gotta make sure they're facing the right way. You're going to do the little wing so holding it how I want it to look just like that. You're going to put the glue on the wing once you have it how you want. Do not glue your fingers and then you're going to glue it very heavily. Stick it on the back on kind of an angle. I'll try to keep it held up while I do this so you can see it, but I'm... Okay. You got to hold it while it dries. Most of my video is going to be glue drying. Then we're going to just... A bit more on this side. Whoop, whoop. Maybe if I stare at it, it'll dry quick. The back side, you can put way more glue because no one's gonna see that. The other wing's gonna be on the other side. Once I get this side done, I'll show you the other side. 
second wing. Put a bunch of glue on the edge. Now when you attach this one, you're gonna try to put it on a slight angle to where the other one is. Cause you're gonna go back in once it's dry and you're gonna put a little bit of glue in between the two and that'll again give it a bit more stability. So the wings will stay up. I'm just gonna hold this for the next 20 minutes. They're kind of staying on their own. So we're gonna very carefully put some glue on the inside. Okay, you can be generous with that. No one's gonna see it. Now this needs to really dry. You see how it has a nice slight angle? You do have to keep an eye on it for a few more minutes before you leave it alone. There's a chance that the wing could just bloop. We're gonna let this sit on the side for a little bit and let it dry completely. If you're going somewhere and you have your ferret with you and they have a different harness on at that point and you're gonna go to like an event and you want them to have their little fairy wings, you don't wanna mess with the tape or anything once you're there, you can wear it until you get to wherever you're going. So let's say you're going to like a Halloween event or just somewhere fun, woods to take a photo shoot, maybe you're gonna go to like a renaissance fair, your ferret has a different harness or they're in a carrier during that time and you wanna make sure the wings just... My ferrets apparently are the same size as my wrist. You No, yeah. Very proud, they came out really cute. You came out really cute. Tara is going to be our model. You ready? Once you put the harness on, ta-da! The cutest little butterfly fairy. Super easy. It is paper. It will not hold up forever, but it wasn't hard to make. So I... <laughs> See how cute? See, and she's totally comfortable while in it. It's just regular harness. She is happy and comfortable, as you can see. It's just a regular harness with butterfly wings on it. She is very chill. She is in no way unhappy. She doesn't even realize that there's wings on her little harness. That's a win-win. You don't distress her. You don't distress the ferret. I hope that helped, and you're able to make your very own ferret fairy. adjusted it. Even the boys can wear it. They're gender neutral. I have a wing too. I made an extra, a third wing. So I taped it to my head with scotch tape. That's weird, mom.